Hey, what's up, guys? This is Jason with SoundDesignStudio.net. Uh, if you don't know who we are, we are a full-fledged production company out of Dallas. We provide sound lighting, uh, sound lighting, video, backline, everything for uh, tours, um, bar mitzvahs, uh, quinceañeras, uh, whatever, <laughs> well, all over the U.S. So um, if you don't know who we are, Go on to SoundDesignStudio.net and and that's everything singular. SoundDesignStudio.net and check us out. Uh, I had to get that out of the way or my boss would kill me. So, um, but before we get any further, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button at the bottom of the page. Make sure you hit that button so we can make sure we keep bringing videos to you on new gear and upcoming gear and and all that kind of stuff to keep you updated and and try to give you information that you might not know and that you might know and and to help people online and you know just try to be a help across the world so um let's jump into it so today we're going to talk about um, just your uh, custom layers or your custom layout of your faders that you can do. This is a beautiful thing with this console. Um, it's very beautiful uh, compared to the X32 or the M32 being able to customize your fader layout. Um, I mean, you can customize every single layer. Um, and at first, originally, I thought you can only customize just your user layer, but you can customize every single layer um, how you want it. So you can move anything to anywhere um and that's a great thing um when you're in a live setting because i mean i can't tell you how many times that you end up adding a a snare or or some kind of instrumentation you know later on and you need it to be in a certain place and you have to do it later and then now now you need another section and you're trying to figure out okay well now i have to flip between pages and all that kind of stuff so that that's kind of that's well I'm not saying kind of it's it's a great deal to be able to do that um uh i said it on one of the other videos too when um hopefully on one of the updates behringer i hope you guys make a spill function with the DCAs, then that way that'll make it even greater. Um, um, you know, um, you'll use that even less uh, of having to to move your channels around because you'll have uh, the spill functions. But uh, as of right now, you can uh, move your faders anywhere you want to on the board. And when I say anywhere you want to on the board, I mean across anywhere. So um, let me go to the console. So in the master section, I call this, to me, this is like a bus section. But they're calling it the center. They're calling this the right and the left. Um, but uh, you can put inputs over here. You can put inputs over here. You can put uh, inputs over here. You can have uh, 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 DCAs right here, DCAs right here. You can have, um, you know, uh, I mean, it's 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 crazy. You can you can have anything anywhere. Um, so at this point, let's kind of get off into how you move certain things around. Let's jump to the screen. So let's speed this up a little bit. Hopefully, I don't go too fast. It's fairly a simple process so the way i do it and like i said guys i'm not a, um 
a Behringer spokesperson. I'm just doing a review, uh, well, a tutorial to kind of help anybody that needs help on anything. So what I did, I go to the meters uh, button, then click on uh, any one of the sections. And right up here, it's, um, it's a little deal. I don't know if you can really see it with the camera, but it's like a look like little faders right here. You click on that and it's like a little custom layers thing. Um, so after you click on that, at that point, it says section over here and which layer. So the section chooses which section you're working on. This is the section that you're working on and you pull from the faders. I mean, yeah, the, which is considered the faders right here. All right. So you pull from those uh, the channels and put the channels and put them right here are the buses and put them down there. Or right, you can pull it from pull from the DCAs and put them down there. So right now we're in the center section, which the center section is right here. Uh, let's jump back over here. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to work on the right section. We're going to put four different channels over here just so this since this got since this is closer to you guys you guys will be able to see it a little bit better so i'm gonna put some some stuff over there all right so let's jump over here so we will choose the right section um so what you can do is you can sit there and say hey well i want to work on uh a user bank I want to work on a main uh, bank. I want to work on DCA. I want to work uh, on, oh, sorry, you guys can't see it. I want to work on um, main. I want to work on DCA. I want to work on channels one through 40. I want to work on the oxes or buses. With whatever group you want to pull from, layer you want to pull from, that's what you select. So I want to pull from the channels one through 40. So let's say my vocal mic. I want to put check check one two. Let's say I want to put that there, uh, that on two. Uh, I think my vocal mic is on eight, so let's put that on channel two. So now that's on. That should be on two. All right and that's there and then um let me check something real quick Oh, my bad. I didn't go over to it. Sorry. All right. So now we're over here. So now let's switch it up. I was in a whole nother thing. So now we're over to this section. Okay. Because I just selected over here. So let's select my vocal mic and let's put it on the second channel. So now, as you can see, it just put my vocal mic here, and you can see it on the meters going up right there. Check one, two, 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 two. And on the screen, I can take it, and I'll show you on the screen. I can take it and, and take it off that channel and just throw it to the side, two, 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 and you see how it goes away check and then now this one is blank check one two two and i can put it back if i want and it goes right back there and i'll show you what it looks like on the screen check one two 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 check one two two so now it's showing that it's empty back over there again and you can customize you can put a bus here you can put 
a DCA here. So you can put whatever, wherever you want and just, you know, choose, choose whatever section, wherever, whatever layer you want, that's what you choose to work on. And after you go there, start start switching stuff around. Start switching stuff around and you can and you can um you can do what you want to do. But that's the way you get to it. Um and and that's the way you make your your custom layers um and and custom layout so hopefully this video is not too long um but i just like to get a little bit more in depth so if people get a little confused on certain things and hopefully i didn't take too long but it may be a little confusing for some parts but that's it thanks guys see you later